Is Panasonic stock that hot? Is Romeo Power stock a buy? You may have heard that Tesla is beginning to produce its batteries in in house. So, but that sounds uh, like a, a threat to Panasonic's business. No, uh, that uh, doesn't seem to be the case. According to fin the Financial Times, it says uh, that Panasonic views Tesla's project as a big chance to expand its relationship with Tesla. The cheaper Tesla can make car batteries, the cheaper Tesla cars will become. The cheaper the cars, the more cars Tesla will sell. And the more cars Tesla sells, the more money can Panasonic can make. We can also see here from Investor Place, and it says, uh, for starters, Panasonic is one of the leading researchers of the so-called quantum glass batteries. These are a new type of solid-state bat solid batteries that use glass electrolytes and lithium metal electrodes. These batteries should be able to deliver more power, be way, I mean, way less, and hold a charge for longer than other battery types. Meanwhile, its new biscuit-thin battery design will feature prominently in every new Tesla soon. So, technically speaking, uh, Panasonic, or rather, yes, sorry about that, Panasonic is probably, let's see, let's update this. And refresh this. So Panasonic is uh, slightly down in the pre in the market of today, the the third uh, of December twenty twenty. And it's, uh, it trades on one of the pink sheets. It take, trades on the pink sheets, uh, bulletin board, not on the main um, markets. So technically, Panasonic appears to be consolidating within a longer term uptrend. Shares are presently above 200 day moving average, which is rising along with the 10 day moving average. However, the average directional index is below 20, indicating that shares have ex exhibited sideways movement recently. It's uh, currently outperforming the S&P 500. So we can see recently, okay, so that it has uh, moved, uh, it traded sideways recently. So that must have been uh, taken into account uh, what happened sometime in the first part of this month, December 2020. Um, so how many days was that? About three days it traded, uh, it was it was pulling back and it pulled back below its 10 day trend line and since that time has continued to move up and today it's uh, at uh, probably something that close to its all time high at $11.74 So mention for Panasonic, as measured by the 14 period of slow stochastic oscillator, is waning. Okay, we can see that. You can see the price rate of change is uh, dropping out. It is currently at 3.8 percent. No doubt about that. This means that investors are less aggressive in the recent purchases and maybe taking profits from positions bought at lower prices. The volume of uh, today's volumes are tracked to be lighter than usual, with uh, 98,741 shares having traded so far. The unbalanced volume indicator is positive. Uh, the slope of indicator is positive and suggests that buyers are presently more active than sellers. The uh, volatility measured uh, using the width of the bullying balance is low. Periods of low volatility tend to precede price breakouts, although they do not they do not provide information as to which direction the breakouts will take. Trend and momentum indicators can be helpful to measure future trends. So, but um, yes, we have seen, even though the momentum is low, but we can see the price is moving. So, it, it, what it, what, what it uh, indicates is that uh, market participants have seen that 
the volatility is low, he has pulled back, a lot of things is, has, has happened and he has since uh, joined in. So for now, I would say, yes, even though he has left, it's, he has uh, departed from its 10-day um, um, trend line, its short-term trend line. It, it looks like, it looks like at, uh, because of this low volatility and all this and, and, the, and um and and and, and uh, some other uh, technical um, parameters. Yes, it, it looks a bit att attractive. You know um, what's going on now. It's you know even though it's also trading above its uh, these short term uh, trend lines, it's not that volatile. So, given all that is uh, it's uh, concerning Panasonic, it's a stock that is highly innovative you know, and it's not a stock that it's not a company that started today you know panasonic is, uh, is uh, a, a well regarded um, uh, company so i would say yes it looks like a buy i would say yes you know it's a buy you know so let's quickly uh, go on to the next issue which will be romeo power So we have uh, this is let's uh, ensure that we have the right date here. This is twenty nine, so that is wrong. doesn't seem to be keen on producing the right uh, data, the accurate data. So, but you can see below here, it's uh, currently at uh, up 7.96 percent. So this this main board here is not um, okay. It has it has done that, <clears throat> even though that um, this uh, this board here hasn't. Um, uh, let's see if we can uh, refresh it and see if we can, it's going to give us that data. Yes, okay, so it's up 7.96%. So, uh, Romeo Power is the product of uh, the acquisition of RMG. So, and it just recently changed the, the ticker to RM, RMO. It was RM, RMG before now. So, there isn't very much to look at on um, Romeo Power. It has this disclosure. This is um, uh, Romeo Power, an energy technology leader delivering large scale electrification solutions for complex commercial, commercial applications. Announced today that it has completed its business combination with RMG acquisition capital. So our, 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 our Romeo Power is an energy technology leader, you know, delivering large scale electrification solutions. So technically speaking, uh, RMO uh, appears to be in a strong in a strong bullish trend. Its 200 day moving average is upward sloping and the monthly histogram is above zero. Comparative relative strength, strength analysis shows that the issue is outperforming the S&P 500. Momentum for RMO, as measured by the the 14 period slow stochastic oscillators, waning. This means that investors are less aggressive in their recent purchases and may be taking profits from positions bought at lower prices. So, 
but we can see that you can see where the momentum is it's at currently at uh, 46.7 percent it's winning yes as you can see that uh, um yeah, that line has ticked over uh, so the last 10 days have seen significant volume in rmo with average stadium volume above the average for the last 10 years for the last year today's volume is no exception with 9.7 million shares having been traded already the unbalanced volume indicators bullish the slope of indicators positive and suggest that buyers are presently more active than sellers volatility uh, as measured by the Bollinger bands are presently wider than usual as a result of greater than normal volatility that accompanied recent price move so you can see yes it's um quite um yes pull back it rose from um continue to rise from the 15th of december 2020 and did not stop till the 24th so it has it had about um so many days of uh, non-stop appreciation and uh, since it has since pulled back to it since as at the 29th it closed at 27 dollars yes 27 dollars but i think in uh we saw that it's currently at 29 dollars 19 so and that was let's see let's see it also had how many days of decline one two days so and then after that two days it has since uh, started to climb up well so um what i say it's uh, it's it's still it's still quite volatile and um today's uh um price move isn't um helping it that much so um i would say and moreover too it's not um, that cheap in itself so it's not that it costs um you can see it's in double digits almost 30 dollars so um <clears throat> rmo uh, or romeo power is definitely a, is one of the stocks in the um uh, in the broader um, renewable ev space you know so it's uh, in, in the long term it's a do definitely a stock to own a stock to watch but you know given what's going on and given the vol volatility i wouldn't really say i wouldn't recommend anybody to really jump in and uh, start buying you know if you're really going to buy you know do not commit a lot of money you know um just put something that uh, you can uh, afford to lose um but um you know i wouldn't also say that um given that it is uh you know rising in the market right now <coughs> that you should just uh jump in and do so just hold on for when it uh, pulls back or you know consolidates it we have seen that it does pull back two days of uh, correction yes that's um, a correction it's at, at this all time high was 33.92 and that's at, uh, as at the 29th of uh, december that was yesterday it was at 27 dollars so yes that is definitely more than a pullback that's more than a 10 percent correction so it does do so so just be patient and observe and see what's going on and if it uh, presents a um a good opportunity um in the, in the form in the form of uh, a pullback or a correction or consolidation you jump in so, but if you can't wait by all means do so but really be careful don't commit a lot of money so we can see that it's uh, no longer as high as it was no longer as high as that 7.96 percent down uh, 4.96 percent so it does do so so um if you're new to this channel subscribe like and share if you're already a subscriber thank you very much for watching